Hey there, it's Vicki Marie Living Life. Today I'm going to share about these flat socks. What do I really think about them, especially compared to what I usually wear, which are these Skechers. Uh, I love these too, but uh, I'm gonna, I've, been, I've been trying these out. I bought these at Dillard's um, the other day, about a week ago, and I did a shopping haul on them. So I'll, sh I'll share what I think about that. I'm also going to share uh, these new shoes I got at Walmart and a new purse I got. So I was I was in Dillard's and I saw uh, some of these things called flat socks and I now I've already hauled them I will put that in the card so if you want to go watch that and see what they look like packaged you can do that but um, basically they look like uh, well you can see I'll just pull it out they don't they don't they're just kind of a rubbery kind of thing here on the the bottom and then terry cloth on the top and they came in different colors. And they say flat socks on them. And I'm just going to pull it out, let you guys see. They, they're insoles. I didn't know what they were when I first saw them hanging there. I thought they were just cloth like like these. You know, when you buy these little um, ped things, these, uh, these are Skecher brands, but, you know, the little um, toe socks. I thought that's what they were, you know, uh, just the material. But they did have kind of the rubber. I don't know if the, uh, this feels like rubber. I'm not sure, but like a sole. On the bottom basically flat socks are the same thing as like inserts like uh, um, like skulls you know when you go to Walmart or places and you you see those little inserts for your shoes they don't they're not real cushiony they have a little bit of a cushion but they're not going to give you any support like there's no instep support anything like that they're just flat so think like when you buy those cheap like um, flip-flops <laughs> that's kind of what the, they're a little thinner than that but that's basically they're flat 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 but they're flat enough and pliable enough that when you place them in your shoe this shoe that I'm using does have a little bit of a it actually has pretty decent instep support so um, so when you slip them in there it does curve and uh, kind of hug the the sole of your shoe so it you still get the good support from your, your shoe but this isn't going to add anything extra to that um, so when I first opened up the package, it wasn't what I expected. I was expecting more like like my Skechers socks, like just a sock. I thought it was like a flat sock that you just flattened on the bottom of your shoe. It does have the little rubber kind of bottom that helps it to stay flat and keeps it in place. Because if without that, I do think it would just gather under your foot. So this does stay in place. Um, I did have to cut it down. It does have uh, on the... The, you can I, I did not do a really great job but it did have the lines so that you can cut it to the size of your shoe what I find is the best thing to do is just if your shoe that you're putting placing it in has one of those linings the instep thing that you can pull out pull that out and use that to cut your flat sock but if it doesn't have that then um, what I do do is just like this I just take the bottom of my shoe and I place it here and I, I did the best I could to cut this and then I ended up you can see I had to cut it a little more so but I started with just making sure it was the size of the shoe and or the yeah the size of the sole of the shoe and then I did have to go and cut it a little bit more um, but there's some lines right on the back here to make that easy I, I did wear these they were very comfortable I do like them and um, I am happy with my purchase uh, I was a little, like I said, at first I was like, well, these are just insoles. They're just, you know, they're just the inserts for your shoes. Um, I paid, they were like $3 and something because I got three of them for $10. So um, now I personally have been using these Skechers for a long time. These uh, Skecher socks, these, uh, um, what do you call them? No show socks. They're real thin. You can wear them with I wear them with my Skecher shoes all the time um, or with, you know, any of these like this shoe I'll wear them with. And I, um, I like them okay, but they're not really comfortable. They never have. I've never liked these kind of socks because they, you know, I put them, my foot in them, and it just seems like they just kind of, um, as I'm walking, they just sort of shift around. They move. Sometimes my toes sort of feel like they're getting cramped together a little bit. I but I, I tolerate them. Um, they, these do have a non-skid on the back. 
So, you know, that little rubber piece inside that's supposed to hold it to your foot. So that helps a little bit, but these were so much better. Now, why would you buy these instead of insteps or like the, the regular skulls, um, you know, ones that you see, like there's different brands of them. I always say like Dr. Skulls, Dr. Scholes. Is that the right thing? You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, why would you buy these in, rather than those? I don't know other than these are washable. And I don't know if the other ones are, but they might be. I mean, I got to thinking about this. I'm not sure. I always just buy, I've bought the ones like, at, like I'll, I'll go to Walmart and buy a little pack of them and I'll wear them and just toss them out like those ones that you throw away. Uh, but these you can wash. So you can wash the flat socks. Again, they are completely flat. There, there's no uh, support for your instep, anything like that. They are just what they say. They're flat. <laughs> They're washable. Um, they were very comfortable, and that's that's because I'm wearing a com this is a comfortable shoe. Um, that's why they're comfortable. They're just going to be as comfortable as your shoe will be. So uh, this fit really well inside these shoes. These shoes. Let me pull this out, and I'll tell you more about the shoes I bought. We'll go right now into uh, the shoes and the purse I bought at Walmart. So, and I just wore these out. I went over. I I had on a pair of jeans, kind of rolled them up a little, and wore these without socks. And these um, flat socks work really, really well. If you want to know more about flat socks, just go to flatsocks.com. Uh, I'm not affiliated in any way. I'm just sharing my thoughts on, on in my opinion on them. So, uh, all right. So these shoes, Time and True, uh, from Walmart, I bought these type of shoes before in other brands and did not like them. Um, but I, I went ahead and bought a pair of these and I will say, and I'm, I already have, I have pretty big feet. I'm 5'4 and I say it's from all the weightlifting. I don't know. It just seems like my feet have gotten bigger the last few years, but these are actually a size nine and I never wear that big. I tried on an eight. Normally I would wear an eight to eight and a half. Um, they were too small. So I did have to go up to a nine just saying. So it seems to me these run a little small. So, um, uh, anyway, I, I bought about half a size one to, to a half a size higher, uh, larger than I would normally wear, but they fit really well. They were comfortable. Um, I did like them and I really liked them with a flat sock in them. So, uh, yeah, so I would say I'm happy with this purchase. And then I also, and I never buy purses at Walmart. I usually get them over at TJ Maxx. I'd gone over to TJ Maxx. I was actually looking for um, sort of just a, uh, a crossover uh, neutral color purse for spring um, at TJ Maxx. And I found a couple that were around $60 and, um, you know, on sale. One was, uh, I looked at a Kate Spade. I looked at, um, I do have one, um, my mind is blank. What is that brand? I cannot remember, but I'll keep singing so I entertain you guys while I'm thinking so you don't go somewhere else. Um, let me think. Let me think. Michael Kor. Okay. I, I have one purse, a Michael Kor purse that I like, but it's a big purse. And I was thinking, well, if I could get a small crossover Michael Kors, that would be nice. Well, I couldn't find one that I liked. Um, over at Walmart, I just was walking down the aisle and I thought, I'm just going to take a look because I had just gone by the shoes. And I found this purse and I really like it. It's very, very soft. It's not leather, but it definitely, uh, it almost feels like leather, but I'm sure for the price it's not. Um, I'll just give you a little closer look. Uh, here's the front. It has a side zipper here. Um, so I just unzip this and uh, that zips up and then it has, and I actually fit my phone right in here. So uh, let me see if I can grab, see like John just called me. So I was just talking to him, but my phone fits right in that front. So, and it actually, I can fit it down in there and zip that up if I want. So that's cool. And then it has, um, a couple little pockets here on the front that do not zip right here and here. So like for sunglasses and reading glasses, is that's what I would use them for and then I love the way it opens up and it's very very wide I, I do not buy a, a purse when you if you unzip it and you just have this little bit of room there um, I don't like that I like to be able to unzip the purse and have it
just have a really nice wide opening and this one does and then once you open it it has two compartments um, it's like a cloth a divider there but it has two compartments and then here it has another zip a side zip compartment you know to put I keep my keys in here and um, things like that and since the whole thing does zip up both of these compartments I, I like that I like knowing that everything is secure so um, I love the purse I've only used it once again um, it didn't quite match the shoes perfectly but it was close enough that I, I did wear them together one day and I really liked it and I think this is just going to be a really great uh, purse to have um, for spring I love the adjustable strap as well so it's a really great crossover and I did not have anything like it so I'm gonna be wearing this there's no name on it so I kind of like that well that's my video today it's been really great just to sit here and chat with you uh, for a few minutes I haven't been on in a few days I've been swamped really swamped with work so uh, I, if I haven't been by your place in a while that's why, um, and I will be soon. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm going to be back here in a couple of days. I have an update coming up for my 14-week body transformation challenge. It's been a pretty good week. Not great, but the trends are, are good. So I'll update you guys that uh, on that in a few days. I might be back here before then if there's something else I want to share with you. I'm doing a lot of reading. Uh, I'm doing a lot of uh, stuff for my work. Uh, a lot of research right now um yeah keeping really busy that's good busy and out of trouble so i hope that you're doing well and staying healthy and staying safe and keep those good vibes going let me know in the comments what are you doing to keep your spirits up let me know that i would love that and then let me know what you think about the flat socks if you have tried them um or what you think about the time and true brand at walmart really uh, liking that so all right guys Thank you so much for watching today. If you haven't, I hope that you'll subscribe. Click that notification bell. Let me know if you like this video. Give me a thumbs up. I really could use that. It really does help the algorithms and helps my channel. So I appreciate that so much. Take good care. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.